Hey everybody, welcome in to Sports on Radio's coverage of Northland Basketball at Tony Munoz Gymnasium at Holbrook, home of the Roadrunners. And the final regular season game of the year for both these teams out on the floor, including the victorious Page Sand Devils Boys Club. And they end up with a 60-51 to victory tonight over the Holbrook Roadrunners. It finishes out the regular season for the Sand Devils. They move to 10-4 overall with the win tonight. And they are hoping to hang on to at least the number eight seed for the upcoming 3A boys playoffs. Let's talk to the head coach. There he is, Robert Smith. Or Justin <laughs> Smith is the head coach wish of the Sand Devils. Yeah, you wish you had those legs, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he can spring. Um, uh, Justin Smith, the head coach, joins us now. Coach, welcome in, and congratulations. Nice win for you and the guys. Thank you. Well, Coach, um, let's see, Holbrook hung around. The Roadrunners came out spirited. They were playing without Anthony uh, Nelson, arguably their best player, yeah. and, and it seemed like they had something then to play for. They're not going to the playoffs, so they were kind of in a spoiler position tonight, and they, they gave you all they had to give. Yeah, they did. They did. We didn't. We definitely didn't have our best game. Um, but, yeah, Holbrook fought. They scrapped. I knew they would. I mean, I saw them on film. Felt like they scrapped with Winslow and uh, Snowflake too. So um, I knew they'd scrap and I knew um, they'd be on the floor after loose balls and, and all that good stuff. And they were, it wasn't a real big surprise to me. I guess the surprise was um, we didn't play well. We really didn't until maybe the fourth quarter. So. Well, once you got the advantage, then you guys, you know, you were in control from that point on. You developed some sizable leads, I think 14 points at, at one stage. And then uh, in the uh, in the kind of uh, garbage uh, moments at the end, Holbrook was able to make a bit of a comeback and get it down to nine points. But, you know, your team, you're getting ready for the playoffs, and this is kind of that tune-up game right here, a chance to be on the road, go and, and, and play something and, and, uh, and, and, you know, play a team that could test you. On your side, a couple of performances certainly do stand out, and I want to talk about Sports Zone Radio's player of the game first. We go with Orlando Yazi on that. 14 points didn't lead you. That was Stuart, Smith, uh, Stuart Sandal, the uh, mutton stew, we find out, for a <laughs> nickname for him tonight. Yeah. Mutton stew had 24 points. That was a you know, great performance. But back on Orlando, Coach, I'm going to say it was in, a, in, a, in an abbreviated shortened season for sure. We haven't covered as many games as we normally do, not nearly as many. But that young man right there played the best defensive game I've seen anybody put up this season in games we've covered. Um, I don't know what your thoughts are, but I thought defensively he was incredible definitely, today for your team. Definitely. You know, it's funny because uh, I can't remember what game it was. I don't remember, but there was it was after a game, and I he had a, he had a good defensive. I don't know how many steals or whatever he had, but it, I don't even look at that. Um, he had a really good defensive game against, uh, against someone. I can't remember who it was, like I said. But... Uh, after the game, I said, man, that's nice to see because now I know I have two lockdown defenders, mm. you know, with, yep. uh, with him and Robert. And, uh, and yeah, yeah I, I, he's coming into his own definitely defensively, and, and people are going to get to watch him for the next couple well, of years. Well, if that's an added bonus to coaching him and coaching the team this year, that you've got a guy that rose up like that, yeah. didn't know you had that in your back pocket, that is an awesome extra yeah. tool to take into the plan. Definitely, plans. definitely. Yeah. So he, he performed for you so well today, and, and it was, you know, the defense, but he also turned those uh, those uh, steals that he got. He turned at least three of them directly into points. Yeah. Always, always big for you and for your team. How about the big fella? How about Stuart Sandal? I don't know. Does he keep growing? I, I, every time I see him, it seems like he's taller than the last time. And he goes out there and he had a great game tonight. Yeah, he did. Um, he's had better games, but yeah, he had it. He, I mean, he dominates inside, and and he's he's not just six nine, six ten. He's very athletic and can jump. Um, and for him, it's not necessarily about the points. He's going to get those. He's six. I mean, he's a big kid, and we do a good job of getting him the ball. But he rebounds. He's been rebounding really, really well this year. How many guys at his size, at his height, how many kids out there in Arizona have the kind of touch that he's got? When he's six, eight feet from the basket, guy that big is not supposed to be able to kiss that thing in there so nicely like he does. And at the free throw line, he shoots so well for you. That guy's got amazing touch for a big fella. Yeah, he can shoot the three too you know yep. he's only shot one or two this year I think he made them both but uh yeah he's got I mean he he does he's he's he may be one of our best shooters he's definitely no in kidding. the top four yeah. or five well I mean there's undoubtedly I mean just the height alone is going to give him such an advantage to go play at the next level and I hope that's in his plans 
but uh, but the way he plays, I can't see any uh, Division three, maybe even Division two team out there that it wouldn't be interested in a guy like Stewart. Yeah, I, you'd think so. Yeah, you'd think so. Uh, we're gonna put some effort in for him and a couple of the other guys. Uh, as soon as our season's done, we'll start really digging in deep. Coach, I want to ask you one more thing about him. I don't think I'm giving away any trade secrets here because people can see film. But the way you use him on defense, it's it's really different to me. It's a different thing. You will bring him out on the perimeter a lot to defend shooters at times, but you'll also use him in your trap out here near half court. Seen him a couple of times, and when the ball escapes, he quickly hustles back down and takes up a position inside the paint on defense for you. But the way you use him, very different for me than what you can normally see when you when a team's got a guy like him. You don't see him used as often as the way you guys do it. I, don't, I expect him to defend the same way I expect Orlando and Robert to defend. He may be better at things than them. or I mean, that's just how we play deep. It's how we always have. I've been coaching in Page for 25 years, and for all 25 years, I've coached defense the same way. Everybody does everything, right? Yep. There if you his go. man put, brings him out, he's got to go guard him out there. If Orlando's man posts him up, he's got to guard a post player. I like it's it. It's the way we play. I, I like it. It's, it's fun basketball. It's a fun brand to watch, that's for sure. Uh, Coach, uh, so the playoffs, here they are. you got a week to prepare. You've got a home game, more than likely, and I'm sure for you, hopefully a home game next Wednesday up at your gymnasium. Are you guys ready to go? I hope so. we got uh, four practices to get ready, so hopefully we can, uh, we can be ready to roll. I mean, now's the time that a lot of these kids have been waiting for. Yeah. So uh, yeah. hopefully we can rise to the occasion. Well, you've got a, you've got some guys that have uh, really given a lot to the program, and yeah, you're right. I mean, here it is. This is the culmination for some of the, those seniors. It's yeah. it's their time, isn't it? Yes, yeah, sir. Coach, it's been fun, and uh, that was a fun game to watch. Uh, your guys uh, your guys uh, prevailed in the end there, and uh, congratulations on the win. Good luck as you All get right. ready for the playoffs. Thank you. Justin Smith is the head coach of the Sand Devils. They beat Holbert today in this one. 60 to 51, the final score. Good win for them, and we'll look for our video coming up as well with the Sports on Radio's player of the game. That is Orlando Yazi, and, and we're going to answer to all those great fans out there as well that wanted us to interview Big Stu. All right, uh, Mutton Stu. We're going to talk to him as well here in just a little bit, everybody. Northland Basketball is presented by Choice Wireless. <laughs>